Okay, after spline arc, arc tool, the last tool is spline smoothing. It's like ironing something. Before that, I, for example, in a sketch mode, sketch a, draw a something or continue something like that. I want to smoothing that. So you can simply go into the, <coughs> sorry, go into the smooth spline. We have uh, uh, all kind of types of smoothing tools. And the first type is smooth. Simply smooth that for you, as you can see. The strength of this 100%, you can reduce and increase or decrease that. The radius, that's it. The radius of the smoothing, you can simply change it. And an important shortcut for changing the radius and changing the strength of uh, this tool is holding middle mouse. Click on the left or right to change the radius, move up and down, release first, release the, release the uh, middle mouse, and then click and hold it, and moving up and down for changing the str strings. Release it, click it again, left or right, release it, click it again, up and down. <coughs> so you can change radius and the string this way. Untick that and tick the flatten. In the flatten, you can simply flat something. It's very simple. You can change its strengths. Untick and tick the random. It uh, change the uh, some the change the drawing spline in its position randomly. Simply click and slightly click and drag holding your left click and click and drag slightly you can go back to a smooth and smooth them very easily okay another tool interesting tool is <coughs> pull for pulling something you can change your radius as you can see i want to pull this uh <clears throat> spline in this direction the important point on pulling is for example if you want to pull something in this direction uh, make sure that the biggest part of the, this circle is in the opposite direction I want to pull in this direction going in making sure our, our uh, this circle this radius uh, most of part of that, most of the part of this area is in the opposite direction and you simply click and drag in this direction. Pull in this direction. <clears throat> Another mode is a spiral. Simply click and slightly click and drag to the left or up and down. It's making a spiral. Another click holding left click and slightly click and drag to make an spiral for you inflate is for inflating curve simply click and click and drag holding your mouth in anywhere that you want it's a, a like a pull make sure for example i, I want to inflate this uh, spline in this direction make sure most of the circle is opposite direction and click your left mouse hold it and slightly click and drag to inflate that for example I'm, uh, i want to inflate in this direction act like this <clears throat> and the project is very interesting uh, going to the 3d you can project your uh, spline you can project your spline as you can see the random act like this it's randomly in 3d change the position of the point it's 3d i bring a landscape or anything that you want it's not important for example a sphere it's not important mm, no the landscape is better for 
giving an example to you. We have a landscape going to the move tool. Move it down. I want to project this pass according to the sorry according to the direction of our my our camera and project this spline to this landscape. <clears throat> First, select the spline that you dropped before. Going to the smooth tool, tick the project, and simply click and drag. Click and drag that spline. Okay. And as you can see, it's project, it's on the landscape. You can simply click and drag okay as you can see this is a project and that's it spline is smooth.